another YouTube price here. We are over on Twitch and we are playing the new Kingdom 2 Crowns DLC, Call of Olympus. Let's jump on in. We're gonna start on, let's start on easy. I haven't played this DLC yet, so I don't know what the differences are. Um, so I want it to be a little chill. Let us get into it and see what those are. So then once we beat it on easy, then I'd be more down to do normal and hard. Uh, okay, oh wow. Who do we have to pick from? A lot. So it also, there were also some, oh, look at that. <laughs> Three greed in a trench coat. Incredible. Um, I like the, the fungus among us. So the, there were some like cosmetic DLCs that also released. Um, so three greed in a toga. I know, right? It's great with a little fake beard. It's like, no, we are a Zeus. We are a Zeus and we are a people. Uh, I'm going to go with Among Us, I think. I really like him, even though three greed in a toga is pretty incredible. Okay. Now we need to see if I can go into the menu and actually turn the music on if it's not already. Seeker of destiny, O monarch of fate, a sinister call from Mount Olympus awaits. Restore the gods and fulfill their demands. Only a royal hero can save these lands. Ah, oh, the music's on. Cool. Ooh, we're gonna get some nice, like, Greek uh, uh, flute type things. Look at the goddess! She's blue. Okay, digging it. It's been a while since I played this on a big screen. I was telling chat earlier that I've been playing this uh, kingdom a lot on mobile. Um, it's fantastic on mobile, if you uh, were ever wondering. Um, Greek or Roman? I believe Greek. It's, it's Olympus. So I think that, I don't think it's Olympus in Roman mythology, right? Throw coins to recruit. Beep boop. Uh, stand here, hold A to buy. It slings to start with. Slingers will hunt for coins. All right. Stand here. Yeah, what was Mount Olympics? Uh, Olympics. What was Mount Olympus called in Roman mythology? Because all the gods were called things like Jupiter and, and Mars and whatnot. So I'm trying to think. What was? Was it Cosmos? No. That was a. That was a Titan. Oh. Walls keep the. Uh, are you, where are you pointing? Oh, I just just wait for him to finish. Is that what it is? Oh, <laughs> like what it says. Wait for him to finish building. Uh, okay, let's get you to do a tree. Um, for those of y'all who've never seen Kingdom, I have a couple of uh, playlists on it. I think um, Kingdom '80s was my favorite. That was the most recent one. Um, that one was a lot more like guided and story focused. It has a very like finite campaign that's kind of, you know, it's the same every time. Um, but in a way that like, I love replaying it. Absolutely love replaying that one over and over. It also has challenge maps and stuff that are more like, you know, the random uh, kind of version like this. Uh, all right, so let me get some of these trees chopping so I can actually, oh, you've already killed a bunch of stuff. Thank you, sir. Capitoline, uh, Capitoline Hill in Rome was the Mount Olympus equivalent, or Capitoline, something like that. That's awesome. Makes sense, capital. Um, mm, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Actually, no, because I don't want to waste all my money yet. Waste, spend. Um, so for those who haven't seen Kingdom before, these games they are like kind of micro strategy games. I would say that the biggest thing. What is this flag? What is that? Well, we're gonna have to figure that out at some point. Um, so it's sort of like a micro strategy game. It's side scrolling. It's got a very minimalist aesthetic. Uh, and what is this? I'm gonna have to mess around with all these things. I might be making some mistakes. It's another reason that uh, easy mode's a good way to start. Okay, I need to get those guys some jobs. Let's see how y'all are doing over here. Did you do a thing? Or are you the, you're the person who sells? Okay, give me this. Someone's going to be running the other way. And where'd this hunter go? Let's see. Looks like a spear. Oh, do you think that's what it is? Do you think it's a place to get spears? I thought it's a flag, obviously, but like, yeah, like a pike kind of thing. Because like, so here's a wall. Or not a wall, a, um, a tower. 
Then we've got this, like, shrine thing. Which is very interesting. Didn't I play something similar like this before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played several other Kingdom games. Are you... Oh, you're the hunter. Okay. Let's not destroy that camp yet. You're off for a bit? Hyperfixations are telling me it wasn't... Uh, it wants true crime for now? All right. Later, Tess. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. All right. Um, nighttime cometh. I'm... Thinking I'll probably be fine night one. I don't think the greed comes night one. They might. But this wall should be able to get built in time, I think. If not, it's fine. It's got the arrow like siege weapons. Exactly. That's where I'm kind of like, huh. Merchant's got a bow. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's really cute. Love it. Love it. So, yeah, so th this, maybe it is to, like, send them out to attack. Like, I'm concerned. I don't want to, like, push it, you know? <laughs> right, let's chop some trees, get them ready to chop, at least. Not too worried about the greed, like I said. Even if they do pop out night one, it's, like, not a huge deal. I have more coins than necessary. <laughs> okay. You don't know if the greed comes night one? Ah! Did I say Greek on, uh, on accident? Oh, there is one! Alright, now we need jobs. Need more jobs. Yeah, give me the monies! Okay, in you. And let's get another slinger. It's always better to have more... Offensive than defensive, or I mean, than than builders. What up, Brian? Get a shout out for Brian J, friend of the channel, wrestling enthusiast, overall cool dude. All right, night's over. So let's see, what does this do? At Island's End, a temple ruined by greed. Rebuilding shall be your first divine deed. Oh. Quests. Okay. All right. So before I hit the okay, so so we have this thing, right? This flag that we see. I'm with the belief that this is like the attack thing. Like send your people out to fight, um, to take out the the greed thing. So we're gonna for now not do it until I have like an okay amount of, um sling individuals all right let's uh let's do this this is great so um for those who don't know this is the villager camp where we're gonna be getting those random villagers um if we take down the trees that border it this one or this one it disappears and then i have to spend money to bring it back and then i have to spend money to get them so it's just more Way more expensive, so doing that early on is a bad idea. So, what I did there was basically try and make it so I can encase it within my walls, and then we won't have that issue. Um, do, do, do. Okay. Quest! Empty No, I like that you spelled it like the uh, classic uh, internet provider. Do, 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 do. Okay. And I don't even need to get rid of those trees if I can just go ahead and build that wall there. Um, but let's keep moving a little bit forward. Kind of see how far we can go. And yeah, so there's allegedly quest type stuff. Is this already some gems? I don't want to grab gems yet. Because then they're just going to be burning a hole in my inventory. Ghosts are always pointing at something. Yep. Always pointing at something, those ghosts. I might need to take out this other tree. Yeah, let's take out this tree. If. That'd be wonderful. If this little... You see in the background, there's that, like, patch of wood. If that can stay there, it will spawn, it will continue to spawn deer, which are a great source of, um, money. Um, if you can get them. If you can get them. Alright. And it's like, as long as you have a patch of that in the back, deer will spawn. Those will actually spawn within your walls. Oh, you need to be hired. Um... They will spawn within your walls, which is great because smaller 
uh, food sources, rabbits and things, will not um, uh, respawn within your territory. So you need to um, accommodate for that with things like farms and whatnot. All that stuff costs a lot of money to invest in. If you can do this where you can get like a nice little patch of forest within your walls, it seems like a really good consistent source of food through all the seasons too. Um, so, so yeah, better good. All right. Probably going to get a bad, bad dude or two coming through here, but got more sling users. I wonder how, oh, can they throw straight? I saw one throw straight real quick for a second there, which is awesome if they can. All right. Let's go ahead and get that being built. Fungus man. Just keep pushing this forward. And then I'm going to try and run past these gems so I don't pick them up. Hey! Cool. All right. What's over here? So this is what the bridges look like. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we got more uh, hirelings. A, s a hireling spawn spot. Aha, there's our first greedy thing. So I can't maintain that within the walls. I won't be able to get this. Oh, oh, oh uh, ad break coming in. Subscribe if you don't want to see it. You got five seconds. Um... It's not too hard to tank with coins in the beginning as well. Exactly. It's so easy to overextend yourself with what you tell them to do. And then there's no way to tell them not to do it. And sometimes they'll get stuck in a loop of like running to try and do something and then running away because they're scared. And then running to try and do something and then running away because they're scared. So um, it really is a balancing act. So you want to, I personally like to take it slow. There are two ways of playing this game. One is hyper speed and one is slow and steady. If you're good enough to play hyper speed, you can like get to certain milestones faster and um, then like put yourself in a really good position, even though you you know push yourself a little bit further in than you might want to, um, or that then is safe. Um, but uh, I like to be a little more conservative with the way I play and, um, you know, never spend all of my money uh, if I can avoid it. Like, always have a couple of coins in case you're like, I'm going to need some emergency money. I guess I'll go knock down a tree kind of stuff. And sometimes you order them to build a wall five seconds too late. Exactly, Mr. Addis. Exactly. All right. That was a wonderful chunk of cash. Let's knock out these trees. Got a nice open stretch of uh, area here. Nice deep forest. Oh, I love that I just realized my crown is my mushroom. Like the mushroom cap. Okay, here's the uh, boathouse, I guess. All right, we got another little spot over here. How many gems do you cost? Okay, and then we got what might be the dock over there. Okay. What's in the new DLC? It is um, Greek based so it's like greek gods and mythology and stuff allegedly the campaign is a little more complex than the kingdom two crown stuff usually is um i'm assuming it's going to be somewhere between kingdom 80s and kingdom two crowns whereas kingdom 80s is very campaign directed specific order and you know kingdom two crowns is a lot more like free form um so that's my guess that's why it's sparkling. Yeah, as soon as I saw that it was glowing, I was like, oh, that's my crown! <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, actually, let's wait to do that. Sometimes when you upgrade that, the walls change, so I should be careful. Although I don't think I can have that happen to me right now. I need stone upgrade. But we're doing great in terms of number of villagers, I think. For the night that we're on, we're doing pretty good. All right, money wise, I'm good, so I don't want to grab too much more. Oh, that's the trader's hut. Got it. Got it. Good call, Blood Carnation. I, can I get farms yet? I can. Can I hire farmers is the thing. I don't think I can. I guess I got to probably upgrade my uh, village. What you doing over here? Oh, you're the one who gives them bows. All right, then you give me money. But before I do that... Just want to wait. If I overfill my, my money bag, it'll start spilling out. 
I want to wait for the greed to die. Okay, let's give it a second. All right, the moon's moving fast. We succeeded. <laughs> I feel like if the moon starts zipping by, right? Like, cause it it'll it'll hover there for a while if uh, if you're still waiting for the the, the enemies. Do 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 do. Okay, so I can build the farm, but I don't have a spot to build to buy farmer, so we're gonna need to extend out this way, I think. Oh, you played earlier today, Blood Carnation? Nice. You enjoying it? Do you have an answer for kind of like what the different, um, what's different? Wow, this is a far off wall, but that's fine. We got plenty of time to build this. Boop. And do this. So within there, hopefully I'll be able to hire um, farmers. Cause that'd be great. Doot, doot, doot. So much fun. Awesome. I love it. It's great because like, I just, I absolutely love these games. I replay them a lot. They're just like a perfect level of complexity and planning, but also simplicity. I'll see you once I get on the boat. It's so ominous when you're attacking one side and the night will not end. You're like, oh my god, the other half of my kingdom is destroyed, isn't it? Yes. The no like, there's been a handful of times where I come back and the greed are like at the center of my town. And once that happens, you kind of just have to tank it because um, uh, your units like your your catapults and things won't turn around until they hit the opposite side of the map so the enemies will be coming at them like from the wrong side essentially and then just murder them because they won't do anything they'll just sit there um so you kind of just have to accept the l you know um if you can get back in time to like stop them on that side then you can be good which is why I really like a lot of the characters, like in the Deadlands DLC, because you just get a lot of offensive capabilities to help you out in those scary instances. All right. And for anyone curious, right now we are trying to get our boat rebuilt. We're trying to um, destroy the greed, which are the those the bad purple dudes who show up. Let's get a couple farmers going. Probably need to hire some more people, huh? And let's build this farm. Let's run out this way, because I know there's at least the one group, but like once the night's over, we'll go and we'll hire a bunch of people. Try to upgrade camp soon. Okay. Am I not fully upgraded yet? I mean, I know I need to get to like stone and stuff, but like we're not there yet. Oh, I can. Okay, we'll, we'll do this in just a moment. I always try and get there as quickly as possible, too. Nice to actually be able to fight back and pull a run out of the mud that you're not great at. I mean, it really is, the, like, just if you have, like, is it, like, I feel like I really like the beetle, and I like the, um, uh, oh, and the characters, that's right. So, like, the ice whip and stuff are just incredible. Um, all right, we leave that as is. Let's grab you and you. Y'all go get jobs. Still waiting on this. We will, like I said, I'm going to wait. We will upgrade as soon as the day begins. Let's go ahead and do this. Can afford both. Um, and then go hire a bunch more people. Because uh, I'm feeling like I'm going to need to get... I'm going to need to be ready to attack. I have a feeling that that's what that flag thing on the outside is is go attack which normally is something where you have to get upgraded to a certain level so that's my guess that is my assumption pikemen are a bit more useful in this dlc okay okay is it spoilery to tell me how or you know because i don't care if it's like a simple thing okay upgrade it again let's see what we get like, I can probably get the banker, which would be nice. Do you exist? You do! Cool. Now. I can go out and get 
Some monies? Because a lot of my hunters out here, I haven't been out here for a little bit, they're gonna be stacked. Nuni, you're a whip man yourself. Half of that's due to the animation. Oh yeah, you just like the whip crack. And like the, uh, the ice running along the ground. Rad. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Alright, let's... Don't do it, don't do it. Awesome. Um, let's go higher. Not technically a spoiler, but I'll see you soon. So it's, it's gonna... I'm gonna naturally come across it by doing the kingdom stuff. Okay. You miss your desk at home. The chairs in this WeWork are not comfortable and not conducive to stream watching. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Like I said, I've been um, uh, kind of organizing this room and whatnot. And we have like several extra office chairs with no purpose here. Like we are two people. We do not need four office chairs. So I think I might see uh, see if I can get Chrissy to put those up on like Facebook Marketplace. Chrissy's good at that stuff, selling things and whatnot. I am not. Okay. Let's let them go. See if they can get farms. Yeah. Donate them or put that money away. You stole yours from an old office, coincidentally in the same building as this we were. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Oh! Aha! Pike Man! Recruit hoplites to prepare for the fight! And there it is. They are... They are gonna be probably what we use this flag for, I'm assuming. We'll send out a huge group of them and the sling... Uh, uh, sling users. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, y'all, I'm so happy there's a new kingdom. I'm so happy. I assume correctly? Yes. Um... Also, for those of y'all who didn't hear, because I don't think I announced it for YouTube, I'm using a new microphone. If you've seen uh, Ash, Jazz, and Enna lately on stream, they're also using it. Um, and uh, so, oh, don't you dare, don't you dare. Are you kidding? Y'all, I'm so sorry, you were so far out there. Where you at, bud? You survived? Oh yeah, yeah you survived, you just lost your job. That's fine, we'll give you a new job, better job. Job with spear. Get your vengeance. Um, let's see. Is that the stump preferred mic now? We've, uh, yeah, yeah. We This is going to be our mic for most of the time. It, I think it was primarily for comfort over anything. Um, and then, well, no, that's right. There, also, just the, uh, with the amount of times we have to replace those other headsets, this ends up being cheaper uh, in the long run. And then, just on top of that, it is way more comfortable. Because I'm wearing a headset that, no joke, probably weigh, like, like, where's my other headset? I want to, like, weigh it, honestly. I mean, no, like, probably a pound or two. <laughs> like, legit, the, those headphones are heavy. Um, like, that's, that's, like, the, that's the weight I lost on it was, uh couple pounds, which on your neck is a lot, you know? Um, sorry I couldn't come into work today. Agreed took my hammer. A likely story. That was company property. Okay. And I'm just going to leave a coin or two here in case some of them go. Reason I got some speakers for your gaming computer and I really like the ability to not wear headphones. Yeah! I can if I want to now because one of my monitors... Um, mostly because of, like, uh, we, I need to get some new monitor stands and things, um, is a TV. I'm using just a Samsung TV, which is nice because actually I can, if I want to, I can switch it over to run through the TV. The speakers are horrible, but 
I can then like have it running and do stuff in my office um, and whatnot. Or if I just don't want to wear headphones. I will stand there in a moment. Your boy likes to go overboard, okay? Oh, they're doing like grapes, huh? Are they doing wine? What you got for me? No, no, no. What you got for me? Nothing. All right, let me send you away. Um, oh, yeah, you're the banksman. Return that money. Okay. Let us go hire more hoplites. Oh, oh. Slowing down. I want a nice good set of hoplites. Nay. And then in the morning we will go out and once again hire more people over on the left hand side. Because at this point there should be a couple more over there. Then I think I'll feel comfortable doing an attack. It's also nighttime, so. Or not <laughs> not nighttime. Um it's also the first level, uh, is what I was trying to say. So, and on easy mode. So, don't need to be that concerned, I don't think. I do need to be just using these dollar dues, though. I'm gonna get to the point where I have too much money and nothing to spend it on. It's a, a very common thing to happen in this game. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is also empty out, like, Sometimes it comes back too much. All right. So in the morning, the dude should come out and um, grab most of that. Other guys might pick it up and then I'll grab it from them. But at least then it gives me stuff. Did the grapes take an extra coin? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like it was the same. Like this right here, there's a, a watchtower behind that. But the farm cost the same as normal. I believe it was like three for the first and then eight for the second or maybe the cost of the farmers. Is that what you, maybe, I don't know. There's prime day stuff for a new mic or webcam. Uh, well this mic, just if you want to know is the pre Sonus PD 70 P as in price D as in dog 70. Okay. Maybe there's just a wall of dirt on the right side front. Yeah, it probably is. Probably is. Hidden back behind there. Whip, whip. This music is almost um, Lord of the Rings for a second there. You know where you'll find Anna in game? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, you know what? Let's move our wall up. Oh, we're we're pretty close to here. We can we can move up to here. Yeah, we can do that. Get closer to the uh, boathouse. All right. Let's run to the other side. I would love to get a different mount. Default horses. Fine, but not really what I'm looking for. Do the hoplites fish? The spearmen fished in the previous games. Okay, I think I need a couple more builders now. They're running back and forth. Yes, they do. Awesome. Yeah, just like that. Thanks, bud. I love the look of everything, by the way, right? Like the white stone and everything. It's so good. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you for the monies. Oh wait, no, you're the one I don't want to take money from. I keep on uh, confusing them for the um, trader because uh, they look more like the one from the previous game. <laughs> you like the big shields? Yeah, they're cool. Do we have enough time? Hold your horses, ghost. Oh, how far away are they? All right, 
Come on, y'all. Come on. We're going to slowly do this because if I need to, I will um, drop some coins. Trader has a boat. You love the new Pokemon content? I haven't played a Pokemon game in years, and because of stump calling, I've become obsessed with all things Pokemon again. <laughs> uh, that's great. Slash, I'm sorry. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. I'm uh, toying around with the idea of doing a solo series on my channel as well. Um, I actually need to get a better system for getting content out on my channel because I'm, I now have more content stored up. Wow. Um, but need to release it there's just like a lot of stuff that goes into like things like making thumbnails and doing descriptions and it always becomes a barrier just because i got so much other work to do you know like i'll just say editing imagine editing a video takes well when it comes to one with multiple viewpoints i'd say imagine it takes four times as long as the video is all right, not because there's four viewpoints, but just like the amount of work that goes into all of the components of soundtrack and, you know, cutting and sound mastering and, you know, all that stuff. Multiple viewpoints just makes it a little more complex, but I would say normally it's three times as long if you're doing a full edit where you have to actually do things. Um, like, you know, and it's like cuts and audio editing and, you know, putting in some fancy little memes and stuff. Um, that takes time. That takes a significant amount of time. If it's something that is like a single view and like we streamed it or whatever, so we can be pretty confident in like how it came across and whatnot that we don't need to change anything. Or if we did, we would know about it already because um, people would have told us. Then that one you can kind of throw, like, set and forget. Um, all right, let's do a battle. Um, carry the banner! Let's go. These guys aren't hoplites, though, right? I need to wait for hoplites. Are the hoplites going to show up? Oh, look at that! I walked back and it stopped. Interesting. Come on, hoplites. I need your assistance over here. Or is it because I have them on the other side that they're not over here? Because if that's the case, then like, why did you have me get hoplites? I'm going to give it a second, and if they don't show up here in a little bit, then we're just going to attack on the other side. They show up on my way? Okay. That's what I thought might happen. Um. So yeah. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, it's... um. It's quantity, right? Because we put out a lot of content, so we do a lot more of like the single view stuff than the multi view stuff. Um, except for right now. Right now it's a little different because we got, you know, Jazzy's gonna be doing lockdown protocol while I'm doing Minecraft. Um, so, lots of multi view there. Um, oh man, by the time I get here, it's gonna be, they're gonna be attacking. So I may need to do like a halt in position. Is this Olympus? Oh, yeah. Instead of the knights, you can set the tempo. <clears throat> Exa yes, I like this a lot. And you can back out of it. If I'm like, you know what? I don't want to attack. I can walk back behind the flag and it stops it. Okay, we are going to wait. They're going to strike here in a second. I'd rather take out the first wave than run up. Here they come. As the sun sets, the greed shall rise. But we shall send them back with coins on their eyes. Get it? That was pretty good, wasn't it? Huh? That was pretty good. It's like the dumpster. It is like the dumpster! That's what it is. You nailed it, Noonie. They've put the dumpster in the default game. Egg! Okay, here's what you do. You back up a little bit, where your guys can shoot, but the thing can't smack them. There's an egg! Dude, the slings have great sh- like, great aim, though! 
Better than the archers, funnily enough. Like, the arc on those slings are so good. The arrows, in the past, they would shoot straight up and down. Like, they would arc over. And I guess that was supposed to be maybe to, like, be like, oh, they can shoot farther, which I don't think they really could. But, like, oh, they're good. They're good. Love it. Love it. All right, cool. This side is cleansed. And because... I picked up the egg. Because there's no more... Um, oh, what's going on here? Because there's no more gate on this side at all, they should not come from that direction at all. So now enemies should only be coming from the other side. Now I need to get back over there. Because they're probably attacking right now, out of, uh, revengeance. I'm gonna sit still for a second, so I can run past this chest without opening it. I'll open the chest before we leave. Um, because I will want to take what's in there with me, but I don't want to hold on to it until I have to. Wasn't there a prophecy about building something? Oh, there was! That's right. I'll rebuild something. No, nope, stop grabbing it. Thank you. All right, let's go drop off more money with the bank. Let's hope there were enough dudes on the other side. Okay, cool. We're good. Because if they weren't, the walls would have fallen. Okay. So now I need to wait for the um, hoplites to go. Oh, we got, we had enough hoplites to have them over here too. See, that's why you get more than you need. Uh, also, what up, fun? We can let's get some uh love in the chat for fawn friend of the channel frequent lockdown victim and i've heard murderer this game looks super pretty have you never played a kingdom game before fawn because they are fantastic this is the latest dlc but, um, I mean, there are, at this point, there's, let's see, Kingdom, Kingdom Two Crowns, Kingdom Deadlands, Kingdom Shogun, Kingdom Vikings, Kingdom, um, 80s, and now Kingdom Olympus. Um, they're all fantastic. I've been more murdery, thanks for noticing. I've only heard, I haven't seen any of the footage yet from, uh, when y'all played recently. All right, I'm just I'm just banking a lot of money here because I'm I'm making more than I can spend, and um, we're making bacon pancakes. And if we ever come back, then that money will be there for us. If the seasons ever shift to where we can't make more money, that'll be there for us. So um, it's very helpful. Like these farmers, they make so much. Do 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 do. And those people don't have jobs, so I can get more jobs going as well. So let's get a couple more hoplites going. And, oh, did this wall break? Or is it, it's only been a level one wall. Oh man, and they're still killing it. Still killing it. Good job, y'all. Appreciate you. Just because so, there's so many. Just because there's so many of them. Beep, boop, boop. See how much money's I'm making? I'm already overflowing again. This kingdom, it runs well. You know why? You know why? Because this fungus king reinvests in architecture. Okay? Okay? I learned something from the mycelium. Is this going to be added to the multiplayer kingdom game? Yeah, this is. This is Kingdom Two Crowns. So, um... Yeah. If you want to play it two players, you should be able to play it two players. Which... Multiplayer, this game's great. Even in split screen, it's not bad because you can... Because, like, if you look at the game right now, the line upon which you actually play is very small, right? Look at that. Look at the strip where anything exists that you actually interact with. You can stack one on top of the other and still see absolutely everything. Like, you lose only the strip of water at the bottom and the strip of sky at the top. Like, not even the whole thing. Just the the, uh, the most upper and lower portions. Um, so, 
it's one of the few games in which I would say, like, uh, split screen is actually fine. Whereas, you know, historically, it's only really appropriate in games where, like, online didn't exist. <laughs> Otherwise, ugh. Like, as a channel that has been focused on multiplayer games and couch co-op games for the longest time, when we see split screen, we always hesitate. There's a lot of games we haven't played because they only use split screen. And it's just because, like, from a viewing experience, it's so hard to pay attention to. And you can't really get a resolution high enough often to be able to do, like, zoom cuts. And also, that just takes a lot of time. Um, so... Yeah. All right. We've got the boat hoose. But I think I also have to go and save the boat, which means I need to attack on this side as well. Which is fine. Move up a little bit further, and then we will start doing that. Old shooters where each friend has a quadrant of the screen. Yes. What's funny is, like, one of the very first games that we played, the one of the very first, maybe even the first, um collaboration that we did was with someone named Sushex, uh, and we played a game called Screen Cheat, um, which actually, like, that was a game, oh yeah, I emptied all, there you go, see, uh, where they actually took advantage of it as the mechanic, which was like, you could only, you had to look at people's screen in order to know where they were. Everyone was invisible, so the only way to do it was to literally screen cheat. Um, so that game was perfect because the like it that is the purpose of that context, you know, of that game. Um, so you know, Kingdom Two Crowns one of the only games my mom will play, so always excited for more content for. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. Well, yeah, tell your mom to get hyped because Olympus is here, and it definitely seems like they've uh, um, they've learned a lot from Kingdom Eighties. Um, which was definitely more story focused, story centric. What what is up here? Oh, just the hoplites moved to the front. I'm gonna get so many hoplites, there's gonna be so many spears. Got spears like Britney. Do, do, do. You get tired of the same stuff, but you can't say no to your ma'am. Exactly. Can't say no to your ma'am. The flag's all the way out there. Interesting. Okay. What, same deal as last time. We're going to do one more evening worth of enemies. Gosh, I have so much extra money. We're going to do this. Just let them... Let them be bought. Okay. Oh, Y'all, I love this game. I'm so glad there's more. Like, I when I, I woke up today, I didn't know this came out today. So I was like, okay, we'll probably do Slime Rancher. Maybe I'll let y'all go look around my, I'll show you off my, my satisfactory file right now um, that I'm playing solo because I'm pretty, I'm farther than I've ever been in that game. Farther than I've ever been. I'm at the level of oils and plastics. i um, going to have trains soon. Um, so uh, I've been really, really enjoying, oh my gosh, look at all the monies, y'all. Look at all the monies. I'm overflowing! Stop giving me money! I don't want it right now! Just take it! Just keep it, we're operating at a surplus! The bank is overflowing! <laughs> Reinvest in infrastructure. Make trillions. We're doing on day, it's day nine. Oh, I could change our symbol. That's right. We'll mess with it later. We'll mess with it later. But we can totally change our uh, coat of arms. All right, y'all. Feel we've waited long enough. Bum ba bum ba 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 bum ba bum. Let's go, stabby stab die dies. All right, we've got our full set. I need to run past that so I don't grab more money than I need. All right, back up, hoplites. You are not to be hit. You are to protect. Stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab. 
I love it. I gotta say, I absolutely- Did he just crush his own dude to retake him out? I love the hoplites. Because I, I felt like the, the dumpster in 80s was like the perfect thing. Like you have the soldiers and stuff in the previous one, but you just had to follow them, right? And see what happens. Whereas, um, like y'all were saying here, uh, you have a lot more control over this, like the dumpster, which allows you to do stuff like this, which is sit just outside of range of the melee attack of the thang, but um, still be within range to fire at it, you know? You just, you were a lot less in control before because they would just start marching, you know? Pew, 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 pew. It does take a little longer though, because I only have the four. It doesn't seem like it gets affected by the I have more people thing. Love to upgrade these strengths. I also need to go run to the other side of the map and see what that thing was that we built. Come on. You can do it. Can y'all stab it? No. Y'all are only for protect. Yeah, it's getting there. Trying to drop the coins to keep them tanky. Exactly. It was just such a pain sometimes. All right. Get out of here, purple thing. Cool. We've cleared the whole map. All right. So. Okay. Nothing here. So we need to just go to where the mass is and rebuild that. Is this. Ah, oh, that's for a teleporter. Is this not where I rebuilt it? Maybe over here? Hmm. I guess I can go, I guess we'll go to the other side of the map, maybe that's where we build it, or I just need, I need something. Figured out that thing in your base, it's an oracle? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pointing me towards where an oracle would be, but yeah, it does seem like it probably just is an oracle itself. So let's go see what that thing is at the opposite side of the map. And then we can run back maybe in the morning. Maybe there'll be something different there. But also, let's go talk to the Oracle. The Omphalos is missing. The sacred stone must be returned. Oh! The egg? Where do I put the egg? Do I need to take it back to the thing I built? I forgot about the egg. Like to look at the clouds. I don't know if it's just me, but they seem different from other versions. Like the mistiness. They might it might be like an updated foggy shader thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You like the Oracle? I dig it. I dig it. It's nice having something. Oh egg! Oh! Well, there it is! <laughs> Sail forth and explore the lands, restore the gods, and fulfill their demands. Okay, so... Now... Where are them gems? Where are them gems? This place is set up for success forever. Well, not forever. But... So... What I'm doing here is I'm trying to drop all my money so that I can put the gems all the way to the bottom of my bag so that uh, when I stack dollar reduce on top of it, I don't end up causing issues. And sometimes they literally can get clogged. Um, and I've had that happen before where it is literally, it, it soft locked me essentially where I couldn't pick up money because the gems had wedged themselves in a way that made it impossible for me to put money in the bag. Twas a frustration indeed. Okay, so we have the boat over here. Oh, it's going all the way over to the other boathouse. Okay, cool. I was wondering about that. I was like, well, wait, then what's the other dock for? 
Okay, so then we're gonna have to do something over there, but that's fine. Again, we are in a good spot. Um, hate the gem clogging. That happened to me too. Yeah. There, there was a frustration I had with this game. Rick and I came across it many, many times. We were never able to finish uh, a game of Kingdoms Two Crown or Kingdom Two Crowns um, on stream or anything, for the reason of it kept soft locking where the layout of the map say would make it so it wouldn't spawn the bomb or you know something would happen like that and it just was it just didn't work do, 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 do. okay we're running we're running we're running want to join the the community welcome on in we are investing resources in the homeless population, allowing them to join the workforce, and guess what? We're going to get way more out of it in the end in the form of tax dollars, participation, and lack of strain on uh, com uh, uh, government resources. As has been proven again and again and again through rigorous research. But hey, what do I know? I just like science. Was that a chest? Yes, there's a chest over there. It's going to be full of money. As you can see, I do not presently need that. <laughs> All right, we shall wait. We're just going to hang out here. No greed coming for the fungus. I love being fungus, man. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. My goodness, my phone is just like... There's people all over the place. Messaging, he says. But Price, what about m capitalism? Oh no, more people are going to have disposable income at a higher quality and thus be able to buy more products and thus they will fuel capitalism to a greater degree than anything we currently have. Oh my god! The only reason we don't do it is because the hyper wealthy want to continue to be wealthy and hold other people away from being able to gain wealth so that they can continue to be more wealthy than everyone else. Because it's a giant dick measuring competition. Anyway. <laughs> Where's the boat? Is it further back here? Is it at the other boathouse? Ah, it is. Okay. Anyway, sorry that I get too real. I do feel like every time I play this game, it is a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> Like, hey, it's capitalism. The price, there's a creek right there. Why not take that water and bottle it for somewhere else? Oh my god, right? Why not own it and then force my subjects to pay me for it? You know what would happen in this game? If you didn't reinvest the money into the infrastructure that benefits the people? The greed would kill you. Oh! Okay, okay! Well, where are we at present? We're in the center, okay. Oh, look at this! So we're gonna pick a direction, and then you can see that there's stuff in those directions that we will get different things. I mean, I think I want to head towards over here where it looks like there's maybe stone that I can get access to. Um, that's big snack, that green snack. Um, okay, so there is an, a deer shrine or something like that. So maybe that's where we can get like the deer, um, uh, up deer mount. We've got maybe a horse of some sort. We've got, looks like a bird. Um, and a turtle that looks like a turtle. Hawaiian food. Showing up just to make me hungry. How dare you? What up, Hawaiian food? Thank you for them. 59 months. 10 away from that nice number. But you're incredible. Y'all drop them, them bears and everything. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm, ass I'm making the assumption that if I go here, I can also go to the southern island and not only the northern one. 
Because I feel like I want to go over where I can get stone. And that looks like stone to me. Anyways. So we're going to go... Yeah, over here. To the deer lands. It shows gems. It shows a gate. It's like, these are like small islands to then head to the big I love this already. Y'all. Let's do it. I'm stoked. And then I'm going to probably pause here in a second so I can go get myself some coffee and stuff. Um, okay. Oh, I don't have people, so I don't know which direction to run. Oh, actually, here we go. Here we go. Y'all. Which way do we go? This way. Cool. Glad I checked. Um, all right. Maybe this... Yeah, yeah, this told me which direction, because that points away from home, I think. Okay, we've got an oracle over here as well, so nice. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, okay, here we go. Gotta go. Later, Vance. Thanks for being here. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Nope, not that one. We want this one. And then, what will this cost? Yeah, I can afford that. Cool. Alright. I'm going to pause real quick. We're going to... Small tip is to reopen the map. You'll get more info. Ah! Cool! Now we can see the shadows. So, looks like we're going to get... Uh, looks like the griffin is available on this level, and we do have gems. Also, the farm shrine is what I'm gonna guess that one is. But he also looks like he has a shield, so it might be something to do. We'll see, we'll see. It looks like a sight to me. Um, 